This is a Queen Mary's College video for the Applied Science course on the heart and the explanation of heartbeat. Making the point about the heart and that it is made up of mostly muscle, specifically cardiac muscle. We know that the heart muscle repeatedly contracts and relaxes in order to pump blood all around the body, lungs and the rest of the body. And we'll be looking at the electrical system that um, makes this repeated contraction and relaxation possible. Just reminding you that contraction of the heart is referred to as systole and relaxation is diastole. So we're going to be looking at the, um, the pathway of the electrical impulses through the heart. It all starts at the sinoatrial node, the SAN, referred to as the heart's natural pacemaker. It sets the rhythm of the heart. It is simply a small bundle of specialized cells located in the, uh, the wall of the right atrium. And this sends impulses throughout the uh, atria, the left and the right atria, and they contract as a result. This forces blood out of the atria into the ventricles of the heart. Then the electrical impulses travel to the atrioventricular node, the AVN. Again a small bundle of specialized cells, more to the center of the heart and it acts like a gate that slows down the, uh, the signal. This slowing down gives the, uh, the atria time to finish contracting. And as you can see from the animation, the electrical impulses move down the center, of the central wall of the heart, the septum. And travel through specialized muscle fibers called bundle of his and others called the Purkinje fibers and these enable the ventricles to contract again forcing blood out of the heart into different parts of the body and then the cycle starts again so here's an animation showing that pathway of electrical activity starting at the SAN contracting the atria moving down the septum into those specialized fibers. And you can see the EC trace below showing those electrical signals which we'll be talking about in a moment. A little bit of extra detail here, the muscle cells negatively charged, usually on the inside and a sudden change to a positive charge is called depolarization, but this is a term we don't need to refer to. Simply, the change from negative to positive allows the electrical impulses to pass. So here's a simulation of the um, electrical activity. Myocytes are simply another word for muscle cells.
looking at the ECG, the electrocardiograph. That's the uh, the normal trace, the normal ECG trace. And just showing you how the contractions produce the um, ECG trace. Look at the units of the ECG trace, voltage versus time. Particular features found on a normal ECG trace. P wave, the QRS complex, which is the main signal, and the T wave. The P wave, electrical activity in the atria causes this particular signal, the contraction of the atria. Smaller than the others because the atria is smaller than the ventricles. The main signal, the QRS complex signal produced by the contraction of the ventricles. And then the uh, T wave produced by the relaxation of those ventricles. Here they are again. So the P wave we need to remember. QRS complex. And the T wave. So just remind you the P wave produced by electrical activity in the atria. QRS complex produced by electrical activity in the ventricles and the T wave relaxation of the uh, ventricles. Very useful in the diagnosis of heart problems or other diseases. An ECG trace can indicate arrhythmia, irregular heart rhythms. So again, diagnosis of heart problems. The shapes of those signals, the P wave, the QRS complex and the T waves, if in any way irregular or in the wrong position, can indicate problems. Ventricular fibrillation, where the atrium ventricles have lost their rhythm and contraction is erratic. Reduced blood flow leads to a heart attack. Another example of arrhythmia, heartbeat is far too quick, tachycardia in other words, faster than 100 beats a minute. So you can see the signals are too close together. 
Another example of arrhythmia is where the heart beats too slowly. Bradycardia, so less than uh, 60 beats per minute. So this time the signals are too far apart. So it can be helpful in diagnosing problems. So there's the normal pattern on the ECG trace. Fast, too fast, the tachycardia, too slow, bradycardia, and an irregular pattern there. Modifying the heart rate is controlled by the brain, the cardiovascular center, the medulla area of the brain brings about changes to the heart rate. Nerve impulses travel along the accelerator nerves to the SAN to speed it up or along decelerated nerves to the SAN to slow down the heart rate. Accelerated nerves used to be known as sympathetic nerves. Decelerated nerves used to be known as parasympathetic nerves. <laughs>